now that we know when you should create a listing, now you, we got to talk about what you need to create a listing. And this list could be forever long, and you guys could worry about it forever. We've really broken it down into just a few basic things that you need to create a listing. So, we need a new product. Cannot list an existing product on Amazon if it is already on there. There are sets of rules that are in this course that you can actually look at that describe this in there. So always do your research. Make sure this product isn't already existing. you got to have a new product. So that's number one. Number two, it's got to have a unique identifier, which is, in this case, for most of us in the U.S., that is a UPC code. If you're doing a product that is manufactured and you can purchase it, purchasing it from a store, most of the time the UPC code is actually stamped on the product. If it is not, say you're selling a bundle or a private label product, you will need to purchase yourself a UPC code. This can be done online, you can talk to some people in our groups, you can buy yourself a UPC code, but that is a necessity. Now I know there's the EAN or ISBN numbers, those can also be used, but for most products that you'll be creating a listing for, a UPC code is what you'll need. You'll need a photo, you have to have at least one to create a listing on Amazon, more than one's probably preferable, but um, in the next lesson, I actually show you how to edit the photo. So it's great, it's easy. All you'll need is a phone, which I assume most of you have a smartphone since you're scanning items. You'll need some sort of solid white background, and I actually show you how to use Photoshop to do it, but you can also use a free program called GIMP that'll kind of do the same thing. But I show you how to clip that out, put it on a white background, and move along. So it's pretty easy. You'll need the product information can't sell something you don't know anything about. When we're looking at listings, and in another video I'm going to show you a good listing compared to a bad listing, but you got to have the product information. Now we're going to look at consumer behavior and thought processes and all that stuff behind it, but you got to have that information to put the put it into Amazon. You got to have a description of the product. This is kind of that meat and potatoes of the product. So it's kind of that little paragraph of what this product can do for you. It's kind of your sales pitch. So you're going to have to have that. And finally, you're going to have to have keywords, which I have a bonus lesson in this uh, course that walks through kind of how you can use AMZ Shark to find keywords. But if you don't have that software, don't want to pay for it, you can actually just think of what keywords most people would search for and go from there. I will tell you that educated data decisions with the, or educated business decisions with data to back them up are always better. But if you're not in the point of buying those kind of softwares, you can wing it for a little bit. So those are the things you actually need to create a listing. Now it's not that hard. Most of the time you can actually just buy one product, take it home and do this. It takes all said and done will take about 30 minutes to walk through this process with all the different videos we have here, but it's a really easy process that a lot of people make a lot harder than it's supposed to be. But these are the items that you'll need to get started, and we'll move along from there.